Hi everybody, I'm going to do a review on the Novak Obsidian. I bought it a couple of weeks ago and um, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, so this is the uh, computer itself. Um, there's little rubber feet underneath, um, a battery compartment for six pen lights. With that um, playing time would be 250 hours which is incredibly long. Um, it has a RISC processor. Uh, be careful because the website has some incorrect information I think because the website states that it has a CISC processor and the battery time is uh, 100 hours but both the manual and the box uh, say that uh, there's a RISC processor that the batteries last 250 hours and also here it says that there's a RISC processor so I think the website uh, has some inaccuracy so don't be fooled by that then pieces are very nice they are uh, hand carved wooden pieces uh, they have little felt pad underneath with a magnet so the pieces stay firmly on the board um, it, they also provided a carry bag which is uh, a good extra it uh, fits in really well and uh, well I think it's reliable enough to transport it in as, as long as you are still a little bit careful. It also has a little pouch in the front for booklets. Um, they also provided a little bag for the pieces but it's barely big enough to accommodate all the pieces unfortunately. So I think I'll arrange something else for that myself. Um, what I wasn't very pleased about was that there wasn't an adapter included so I had to buy one myself. I bought one from Novak to make sure that I really had one with the right specifications. Um, if you um, want to use another one, uh, check the manual to see if the specifications are really uh, good because uh, otherwise you might break your computer and uh, void the warranty. Uh, one of the important things also is that um, you should use one with a negative center. Uh, so be careful if you use one of those adapters which has a, uh, a, a polarity switch. Uh, make sure that the switch is in the right position and that the center will be negative. Um, then um, there was a protective foil on the control panel. I had to use a lot of force to take that off but fortunately um, that all went uh, well. Um, construction is uh, good but uh, you see that they were a little bit sloppy uh, putting it together if you look well enough uh, because uh, some of the LEDs are just a little bit tilted but uh, well, they all just work fine and it doesn't really bother me. Also between the control panel here and the casing there's a very thin slit. Uh, you can even see a little bit of the print board underneath but I don't think uh, you can actually see it on the video, so that's how thin it is, and it doesn't really bother me. I don't notice it when I'm playing a game or anything. So uh, that's it. Uh, now I'll uh, show you some of the features, uh, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, uh, so everything's uh, set up now, and uh, we're ready to play a game, so I'll just turn the computer on. Here's the switch on the side. Um, so um, on the control panel you see uh, a bunch of uh, uh, buttons with uh, different functions. Uh, here's new game. Um, I'll go into uh, all the rest later. There's a sound button here so you can turn the sound on and off. And there's uh, also a half on. So in that case uh, only the computer will make it sound when it makes a move. Um, so I'll just start. You see that the positions are indicated both by the LEDs but also on the LCD screen. Um, you see here that there's a little rectangle in the LCD screen which indicates which color is playing. So when it's open, uh, uh, white is playing. So I press the horse now which I'm going to move so it indicates white horse uh, second move from G1 and I'm going to put it here on F3. Um, so now the black uh, or the computer says that it's going to move the uh, black horse um, on B8 to C6. So you already see that it's 
want to move it to C6. Um, so that all works uh, very smoothly. Um, I'll just do a few extra moves to show some more things. So if I make a silly move and I regret it afterwards, um, computers thinking now what to do. Then I can uh, undo that of course uh, with the take back uh, button. So I just press that. First the computer will take back its move. It will also indicate that I have to put back the bishop that it just took on this position. It also says that in the LCD screen. I say take back once more to take back my own silly move as well. And then I have to put back the black pawn on d7. Uh, I can take back one more move or several more moves if I like. Okay, so if I now think, okay, well that last move wasn't so bad after all, so I want to uh, repeat that move. Then I can just uh, use the trace forward button, which is the opposite of the take back button. And then I say trace forward once more to make uh, repeat the move that the computer made. So that all works fine. Uh, with take back uh, altogether, you can make 112 uh, moves back or half moves back actually. Um, and with trace forward, you can make the same amount of move, moves forward again. Uh, so that's really a lot, and usually that will take you through an entire game. Uh, if you want to return to the beginning position of your game, instead of using take back, you can also use restore. Uh, so let's do that for a moment. It says begin in the LCD screen. Everything's back in its or original position, but it will still retain um, the entire game uh, up to the last position uh, in its memory. So I can use the trace forward button again to repeat that entire game that I just played. So that's pretty good. Uh, Trace forward. Also, when you use trace forward, um, you see the positions in the LCD screen. So it says now white horse move that from B1 to C3. I can also just do that without pressing the squares on the board and then simply press trace forward again. Then it will assume that I have made that move and it will show the next move that has to be done. So now the black horse from G8 to F6. I'm not going to press any squares, just make the move. And I press it again. And I have the next move. So the only disadvantage is, is that you will have to read the coordinates carefully in the LCD screen. But it can still be good uh, because you don't have to press uh, the... Uh, uh, squares all the time, uh, although that's not a big deal either, of course. Uh, uh, well, you can make your own choice how to do that. Uh. So, and we're back in our last position. Okay, uh, I'll show you a couple of uh, other things that you can do uh, later.